And and no media gaslighting is going to be greater than the gaslighting we're just starting to experience. That will be the rest of this year, which will be the COVID gaslighting. Because oh, we get to November and we get close to the election and mayors and governors are going to say, nine months ago, I took these mandates away because my policies were safe. And they're going to say, Ian, how dare you accuse me of of using this for a political purpose. It has been months since my administration, and everyone's going to clap and say, yes, you did take away those mandates. You fought to keep us safe. I fought to keep the, and they're just going to ignore the fact that bars closed and restaurants closed and mom lost her job and dad lost her job. The gaslighting we'll experience for COVID will be like no gaslighting we've ever seen before. But maybe some people will wake up from it finally. I hope so. Like the Super Bowl. I love it. They have, a, they have an indoor mask mandate. In LA and at the at the Super Bowl, the SoFi Stadium, they said before the Super Bowl, everybody would have to wear masks. And then there's this clip going around where it's like the the, the broad, broad broadcasters are like, "Oh, look here, we've got Leonardo DiCaprio and Ryan Reynolds and Charlize Theron." It's like just showing all the celebrities at a party, yeah. and none of them are wearing masks. So at a certain point, if you've got how many what was it like seventy thousand people 70, 000, in yeah. that stadium? And many of them were wearing masks, but, you know, you got so many not wearing it in celebrities. You still fall for these narratives from the media. Uh, you know, maybe you just can't be helped. Yeah. But then today in Los Angeles County, some nine year old kid sat in their English class and took off Literally. the mask and they were like suspended. Is that you know? the story? Happened? No, I'm sure it happened oh, right, because right, right. The, because the Los Angeles schools, the masks are still required. I literally tweeted this. Today, it's such a black pill moment for me to see mm -hmm. all these celebrities and all these elites who are hounding people, calling people like anti-science, like grandma murderers for not wearing a mask. And they're all just, you know, having fun at the Super Bowl. But my 15-year-old brother has to wear a mask or he'll get kicked out of school. Like, it's just ridiculous. Yeah.